the last time you were here, you were uh, kind of like high as a kite on pills. You were injured. High as a kite, man. I was. I had uh, torn my my biceps tendon, and uh, they put me on uh, pain pills, which is bad and good, mostly good. Mm -hmm. um, I understand how that could be a serious issue for people, and you know, I made sure that I did what it said. I finished the entire bottle. It didn't say that, but I finished the entire <laughs> bottle. And what I'm thinking is. If you average out the time that you get injured in your life to maybe once every five years, ten years, it's gonna something's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I figure that's something to look forward to. So what are you trying to say? What's your point? I'm trying to say that I have the potential of being a drug addict. I there I said I, it. Yeah. Uh, just trying to get to the bottom line. Yeah. <laughs> you have how many daughters? I have three. Georgia is 18, Kate is 17, and Charlotte is 12. Wow. And now yeah. are the other two dating? Um, they've started to sort of seek out some male friendships, as you would say. What does that mean, to seek out male friendships? They're just checking it out, checking it out. And, I, you know, can I be honest with you? No. You know what I can't stand? <laughs> Everybody always says, oh, your daughters are dating. Better get the shotgun. And it drives me nuts because I think that's such an antiquated way to talk about young women. It's almost... It's almost presuming that they don't have the good judgment to, 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 to go out with a guy that's appropriate for them, so, mm -hmm. like, the dad has to come in and save the day. Mm -hmm. Man, the way I raise my daughters and Jill, the way we raise our kids, hopefully they will have enough self-esteem so that they'll be able to attract guys of a certain caliber. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't need a damn shotgun. Right. They'll, they'll right. have, you know what I mean?